captain's log. My necessary fans review of Star Trek and Mage is ready E for everyone from Activision. This was one of the first um, games that Activision made with the Star Trek license, and I believe this is the only game they made for the PlayStation. There's special the Enterprise E, and you get to um, have um, Waff all these missions. I mean, this book, I mean, this guy to help you throughout the game. But this is pretty impressive, too. There's a picture of the planet with the Star Trek Invasion logo. Starting 54, 101.02. It's the 24th century. War vessels are rapidly approaching near space. Romulans have suddenly attacked Federation vessels and respective. A Starfleet captain has turned renegade, uh, taking his ship and hit with them. As a hot shot pilot in the elite Red Squad tactical um, or strike force under the command of Lieutenant Commander Worf, you must undercover the, pl the plot behind the dead this deadly. Uh, Pattenier of events and back, fight back to save the universe from a doomsday scenario. For flying a, a prototype, a single seated combat fighter, codename Give me a minute. Name the Farragut. You and your squad members are in for the fight of your lives. Fight in intense battles in deep under outer space or near planet atmospheres. Huge selection of awesome weapons come in handy as you pilot a, a Valkyrie fighter or man a, a, a squadron to the fan larger ships. Play as a single player with squad support or go head to head with your friends in, in hollow space arenas. And Michael Dorn does reprise his role as um, as Lieutenant Commander Worf and as well as Patrick Stewart reprises his role as Captain Jolly Picard but he's basically not a big factor in the game as he should be. Because he's the captain, but it's basically centered around Worf and his new team. And the game does have a very unique story, where you basically are uh, fight, trying to stop a captain from starting a war with the Romulans, and you must also later on try to stop the Borg from invading space, the Federation's base, and you find a new species as well. The graphics in the game are really beautiful. The ships are really impressive too, and as well as the space areas, because they are really impressive. Shows the many wonders of space. The bat, the the controls are a little tough to get used to, but they really work. And the sound is really strong too. The voice acting is really good, and so is the music. However, the game does have a few issues. Most notably the AI. Some enemies just uh, run away fast and you have to chase them. And also you gotta defend your comrades once in a while. But overall this is really a great game for Star Trek fans and, and flight simulating fans and um, flight fans alike. I really recommend getting this game. It's one of the few good Star Trek games that was made in a long, long time. And it was also a good PlayStation game. And they really, Activision did well with the Star Trek game. So oh, I give Star Trek Amazing a 7 out of 10. A really impressive game. And it's really worth your time. Thanks for watching my review. And take care.